first graders, yesterday we talked about using the keywords in a story to be able to explain even more about the book. So when we saw in the monkey book, hang, I had a couple of you explain to me what they meant by that and see if they could explain even more about why that was a super important word for the book. So today, I'm going to be teaching you something else. So when you are reading aloud your books like an expert, it's helpful to bring the book to life. Do you guys remember when I read the Piggy and Gerald book and I was reading it with a lot of expression in my voice? Today, I'm going to show you that we can also use expression in our body. So we are going to be kind of acting it out in a way, except for we are not, we're not pretending it's a play. We're just using our body to show those key words and we're going to explain them even deeper so that people can really understand what they mean. Landon, do you have a question? Oh, well, thanks, Landon. You're so sweet. All right. So, in my book that I have here, I want to kind of model what that looks like. So, I'm going to use the owl book, and I'm not going to forget about how I, how I use my voice because I don't want to sound like a robot, but I also kind of want to use my body to show... Um, what those keywords mean if somebody's ever confused. So that's going to just help the, per the person that you're reading to understand the story even better. Night hunters. Most owls sleep all day. These nocturnal birds wing their way through the night sky. So if I wanted to talk about this part here, wing their way through the night sky. I could use my arms and kind of show that I have wings, just like the bird. So I could say, wing my way through the night sky. And then that would help the story come to life even more. Let's see if we can do it on another page. About 200 kinds of owls live around the world. They make their homes in other birds' nests or holes in trees. So I really want to focus on how they're not just in North America where we are. They're also in South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Not Antarctica because it's too cold. But they're, they are all over here all around the world. So if I wanted to show that with my hands and my voice, I could say that they are everywhere like this. So I know I can't see you guys right now, but I want you guys to try that with your hands. Everywhere. So I know that I modeled reading a Piggy and Gerald book that is not a nonfiction book, but I want to show you guys that even if it's um, a nonfiction book like these, that you can still act out the stories to help tell the story even better. So, owls come in all sizes. Some owls weigh up to nine pounds. Other owls weigh less than one pound. Now I'm going to call in a student and you will have the opportunity to show your video and unmute and explain what you can do with your body to tell this even better. Okay, so think about what I did with all around the world and wing their way through the night sky. Who can give me an idea of how I can change this up with my body to tell even more? Think about the key details. Some owls weigh up to nine pounds. Other owls weigh less than one pound. I'm looking for a student to raise their hand to show me what they can do with their body to sort of act it out. All right, Xander, you can unmute and you can turn on your video, and I would like to see what you came up with. I can't see you, Xander. I'm looking for your video and I can't see you. I could see him. I could see him. Oh, please stay muted. Please stay muted. Okay, now your picture popped up. All right, so go ahead, Xander. Um, 
So Xander, let's think about how we can use our body to kind of make those words come to life. So watch what I do. I'm going to show you an example for nine pounds, and then I want you to think about what you can do for the one pound, okay? So some owls weigh up to nine pounds. Nine pounds. What could you do to show me other owls weigh less than one pound? What can you do? There you go. Nice job. Less than one pound. So we can use our hands to show that and bring it to life. Good job, Xander. All right, I'm going to have you turn video back off so that we make sure that nobody is getting kicked out of the meeting. All right. I'm going to show one more page. And then um, we're going to be practicing in our books, okay? Because we can even do it in these books. So um, make sure that you have these ready in front of you. And I'm going to get one more page ready. Ooh, this one is really interesting. This is probably my favorite page because it has a lot of details. Owls gulp small prey in one bite. They use their sharp beaks to tear apart large prey. Take a look at the picture. Now, I'm going to call on somebody to unmute and to show their video to show me owls gulp small prey in one bite. Zayden. They go with a small mouth in one bite and they pull like this. Mm hmm So that was a really good example. I was I was glad that you did that instead of this. Cause do owls have fingers and hands like we do? No. No. Nope. They have claws that they stab them. Mm-hmm. And they would eat with the beak, right? So I like that you showed me that they eat it in one bite. Can you do that again? So they're like, good job. Yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't see an owl doing this because they don't have fingers like us. They use their sharp beaks to tear apart large prey. What would that look like? Yeah. Because their beak is super sharp and they can just they can just eat their food like that. So nice job. That was a really good example. So boys and girls, today when you are showing me with your books, I want you to be thinking about what you could do with your voice and what you can do to act it out. So real quick before I have you guys go into your rooms, I'm going to pull this up so you guys can see our new page here. It says, Use drama, so that's when we're like acting out things, to bring the topic to life. So, Zayden just used drama and Xander just used drama to help act out that book and tell us even more details about those key words. So this is what we're focusing on today. Use drama to bring the topic to life. Okay, real quick before you guys go into your groups. Some of you are still not leaving the meeting when you go to Mrs. Wilson's and um, to Miss Cheatham's reading group. So on your screen, you will see a button that looks like this and it says leave. If I call your name, you have to click this before you go to Mrs. Wilson's link on the schedule or Miss Cheatham's link on the schedule. You have to leave this meeting because if you don't, I have to click remove and kick you out of the meeting and then you can't come back today. So I want you guys to make sure that you are clicking leave to go to your groups. So if you already know what group you go to, you may leave the meeting. So you need to click that button. You need to click that button. Like right now? Yep. So I'm going to read off names. And if I read off your name, you need to click that button and go to your reading group. Okay. So, Mrs. Wilson's group. Angela, Cruz, Eli, Paige, Alakai, Samantha, Landon. Click this button and then go to the schedule and click on Mrs. Wilson's picture. 
I got a question. Hang on one second, Liam. Miss Cheatham's group, you are going to do the same thing. Elias, Jose, Zayden, Paulina, Adrian. Go click this button on the screen. It says leave. And then you need to go to the schedule. Liam, what was your question? How do you get to the schedule? What? How do you get to the schedule? The schedule? So, Liam, you're not going into into reading groups. Just unmuting, then I have to skip you. So make sure you're being very responsible with your unmute button. Okay, let's start with the busy pond. So I'm only going to be calling on yellow class, and then I will call on green. Okay, we have 10 minutes. I'm going to spend five minutes here, five minutes here. Here we go. All right, my first yellow class that's on my screen is Kieran. So Kieran, I want you to go to page three, and you're going to read this with expression, and I want you to have your video on so I can see what things you're using to show me your expression with your hands and your body. Ooh, that was a good one. When I go to the pond, I can see and good. All good job. That was awesome, Kieran. Nice work. So Kieran was able to use two different ways to show that story with his body. He had water and he had land. Good job, Kieran. Okay, Kieran, you get to call on a student from yellow class. So think about yellow class students on the screen, and I want you to call on somebody. So if you're in yellow class, raise your hand so Kieran can call on you. So Xander is going to unmute. Um, Kieran, you're going to mute and turn your video back off. Xander, you are going to go to page, let's skip around. Let's go to page six with the frogs. Xander, you're going to go to page six. So everyone else, make sure you're on page six if you're yellow. I think God, I believe God. Uh, Read the whole page. I think you might have skipped the middle line. So how could you show that by acting it out? So um, choose a word from that page and, and act it out just like Kieran did. Mm -hmm. So if you were a frog and you were sitting on a lily pad, what would that look like? Awesome. Good job. Perfect example, Xander. All right, Xander, please call on somebody from yellow class that's raising their hand. Make sure. Oh, can you see the, Can you see them on your end, boys and girls, people who raise their hand? Yeah. Okay. So take a look. Oh, so Petra, hand down because you're green. So only yellow right now. Choose a choose a yellow class student to read a page. Bracket. Okay, bracket. I would like you to go to page eight. Page eight. It has the duck, and you're going to show your video and act out something from that page.
Mason, you should have this book in front of you, the eggs one. Okay. Hey, Bracket, I'll hold mine up to the screen. Will you come back? Because we're going to run out of time. Yeah. All right. I think this when I go to the pond. They swim in the water. So pretend you are a fish, because fish don't have arms like this, right? So fish oh, can't yeah. swim like that. So if you were a fish, what would it look like? Yeah, good job. Awesome job, Bracket. So, do you guys see how that works? You guys can use your bodies to act out the story even more. So, our voice can help, but so can acting it out. Okay, Mason, if you can't find it, I'll just hold mine up to the screen. All right, Bracket, can you please call in a green class student? So, green class, please raise your hand. Green class. Um... Petra. Petra. Okay, Petra, I want you to make sure you have time for eggs out. And please go to page three. Page three. And we're going to act out something from this page. Good job. So if if you were trying to explain some to somebody this page, you could even use her example, this girl from the book, and pretend that you were finding the eggs. So can you show me what that would look like? Good job. So we could be like, find, find the eggs. Good job. Oh, you are, you did amazing, Petra. All right, Petra, I'm going to put your hand down. Green class only. Make sure that you are raising your hand so that Petra can call on you from green class. So I see Deleza is raising her hand. I'm sorry, Miss Prince. I got kicked out of the meeting. I'm sorry. That happened. Yeah. So I see Petra... Petra, I see Deleza's hands raised. Anyone else from the green class want to volunteer? Make sure you raise your hand. All right, Petra, I just see one hand up, so who can you call on? Can you say Deleza? Deleza, you're gonna you're gonna go to the next page. And I want you to act out this page. Collect the eggs. Alright, so in your video, I'm looking at your screen so I can see how you can show that with your body. Collect the eggs. Good job. So, boys and girls, I I have chickens at my house. And so, when I collect eggs, I actually use my shirt and I put the eggs in my shirt. So that would be me collecting eggs. That's what I did. And then I carry them. That's what I did when I lived at my old house, but now I live in a new house. And there's no I chickens? Eggs. Yeah. I used to always put on my huge sweatshirt so I can put them inside my sweatshirt. Yeah. Chicken. All right. This last one is for Nicholas. Nicholas, I would like you to go to page eight. You're going to read page eight and you're going to act out part of this page. 
So green class, make sure you're on page eight. So how can you show that with your body? Good job. Awesome. Good job, Nicholas. So he's like, good job. That was perfect. I, I actually know how to crack cakes. You do? Do you help with cooking? Yeah, sometimes. Awesome. I want to see who else helps with cooking. Uh, just, um, sometimes I, I can't imagine my hand is an egg and then... Yep. Well, I sometimes help my sister cook and crack eggs and do waffles. Ooh, 